This is calculator question number 11 from the 2016 May US SAT, which is also practice test 5 in the 2018 version of the College Board prep book. College Board asks for the line perpendicular to the one given, and we have two ways of doing this. The shortcut is we may have heard that AX plus BY equals C. To find a perpendicular, you swap A and B and flip the sign on one of them, and then any constant will do. So if I swap the negative 2 and the 3, I get 3x and negative 2y, and then I flip the sign the negative 2. 3x plus 2y equals any constant. That would be choice A. That's the fast way to do perpendicular lines when you have standard form ax plus by equals c. If you don't remember that, or if you never saw it in your algebra classes, there's another option. Put this in slope-intercept form, 3y equals 2x plus 6 if you add 2x to both sides, and then divide through by 3. y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. To find the perpendicular slope, you flip this, 3 halves, and then take the negative. Putting the first choice in slope-intercept form, 3x plus 2y equals 6, subtract 3x, 2y equals negative 3x plus 6, I want y by itself or slope-intercept, divide by 2 y equals negative 3 halves x plus 6 halves, which is 3. That matches, so choice A is the correct answer. If I put b in slope-intercept, the slope will be negative 3 fourths, which is not negative 3 halves. c will have a slope of negative 1 half, and d will have a slope of negative 1 third. a is the only choice with the slope of negative 3 halves. That's two ways of finding it. If you don't remember what the perpendicular slope is, you can put them all into y equals form, graph the original, and then graph these one at a time, and look at which option looks perpendicular in your window when you hit zoom square, because zoom square will make the horizontal and vertical spacings proportionate so that circles look circular and perpendicular lines look perpendicular. So that's your last option to do this. Come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.